Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. And today, hey, I'm gonna uh, go over a kind of an eclectic mix of stuff from three estate sales. Um, you know, I don't normally get a chance, it seems like, to just hit multiple estate sales at once. A lot of times I'll hit them, you know, like at the end of the day or maybe at lunch, like on, you know, if it's like, depending on what day of the sale it is, the first or second day and timing. But um, Saturday I had a chance, there were three of them really close together and I just was able to go boom, boom, boom. And uh, it, it, it was a fun, fun afternoon. So uh, I'll show you, show you what I got. And uh, you know, it's, it's some pretty good stuff, I think. And, and an eclectic mix, books and a couple of other weird things. So, hey, yeah, thank you for the views, for the channel support, subscribing, commenting, all those things that help with the, the overall, just, you know, promoting the channel and, and supporting it. And hey, you guys keep doing it and uh, you know, I will too. So we'll just see, see what happens. So with that, let's, let's jump in. Um, so yeah, so the state sells three of them in very different homes. One, it ended up being, um, the first one I'll show you was actually kind of in the middle of this. I realized that I actually knew whose home this was. It was a gentleman that I had worked with on some youth soccer things probably 20 years ago. And I had not probably seen him for 15 years. And, um, in the middle of this, I saw some of these, these soccer things and I'm like, was this Ray's house? And then I looked up and actually he had passed away a year ago, like in 2021. And like I said, I had not seen this gentleman for 20 years, but it felt like the house had been closed up for over a year. Um, it was, everything was kind of musky smelling and you know, so then the second house was like up on a hill <laughs> steps. It was a new house and you actually had, I felt bad. You actually had some people that were, like they were having to stop and sit down. It was such a hoof up the up up the street, up the hill, into the house. Uh, some of the um, some of the clientele were <laughs> they, they were stopping right. And then the third one was kind of an older house, but oh god, it was a digger. It was a digger place, and I'll, I'm gonna show you some videos uh, inserts of some of these. So it's, it's just crazy. So um, so I guess actually for the first one, I got some books. Uh, let me show you a couple of the rooms uh, on the first cell. And um, then I'll show you what I found on it. So, so here's where I, I found several books. Um, found the Apple manuals. I found some books that are actually on the very bottom of this shelf, uh, kind of hidden, uh, some office supplies. And then actually in the garage, there were some manuals that I thought were worth taking a shot on. And I'll show you, show you next. All right. So this was the first one. The gentleman, like I said, I knew that I ended up knowing that it passed away last year. So that was kind of weird, right? But um, the things I did find... There's this really, this might be the best thing that I found there. I spent 20 bucks at this sale. Books were $2. It was the first day they weren't given discounts. Um, I think they did give me a little bit of a deal on a couple of things. Uh, paperbacks were like 50 cents, but I did get this uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. It's the anniversary edition where they signed it, Harper Lee signed it. And see, it's not flat signed on the book. It's where she did the, the pasted on things, right? And I, it's one of my favorite books of all time. I'll probably keep this. I see this listed for like four to 500 bucks. I don't see any of this particular, the valuation I think on these where they put the little name plates and sign them. It's not as valuable as if the book itself is flat signed. Um, at least that's been my experience. Other people may, that deal with a lot of, you know, inscribed things might have, have a different opinion, but that's what I find. Um, actually, I may just keep this for my collection. I, I think I'm gonna, that's what I'll do on it. So one coming from Ray's house and then uh, two being the autograph of one of my favorite books, even though it is the plate and not flat signed on the page, uh, having an inscribed copy, that's nice. So I'm gonna keep this one. Then there was this, um, this book of electronic and radio engineering, technical book. And I'll tell you, technical books, I've said this before, they're hit or miss. If you're out there and you're not a real technical sciencey person, always look for some of these classic, like the McGraw Hill, um, this, this, this library of electronic electrical engineering series. Sometimes it's in a red cover and it'll say classic book reissue. There's a lot of really good text like this. Um, again, for $2, I see this selling for 20 to 25. So it's a nice one. Now in the garage, I found these things in the garage. Um, and I don't know, I'm going to let my ear out. When I got them home, I realized how much they do. You know, remember the video I did a few weeks ago on smelling it? I, everything smelled like that here, but I, these are about 
you know, here's one on Atlas lathe operation. You know, these things run 10, 15 bucks. Um, here's one on tube substitution. So that's, this can run 10 bucks and all these were like 50 cents a piece, I think. Magnetic recording, it's another $10 one. And then first two volumes of Van Balkenberg's Basic Electricity. I've sold this series multiple times. There's six volumes in it. This is only volume one or two, so it's incomplete, but even these two together could sell, you know, for 10 or 12 bucks together. So I don't know, Th those from the garage are kind of stinky. I'm gonna let them air out and see if they get any better. I may just, if I sell, I'll just list them after that, but they really, um, you know, I, like I said, I did the video a, a little bit ago, you know, and I said, use your nose, <laughs> the smell of success, you know, and I knew everything smelled that way, but everything in the house kind of had that odor. So it's really kind of hard to know, right? Um, this was the house I did the short. This was the house where I found the Apple manuals. There was an owner's manual. Um, there was a <laughs> actual manual on the mouse. Uh, this is just the, the case for the dot matrix printer and a text card manual. So all those can run 10 to 15 bucks a piece. I think I'll sell them individually. Uh, they were up in the office area that I showed on the, the inset. So, um, also in the office, I should, you know, inside this, I got this book of, you know, 30 up laser labels unopened. So, uh, you know, office supplies are really expensive. So one thing when you're out sourcing, you know, if you see labels and things you're using in your business, paper, your wrapping paper for, you know, for boxes, anything like that tape, and it's, it's cheaper than it is buying it at, you know, Staples or Amazon or even on eBay. So be on the lookout for supplies. So in the 20 bucks I spent there, probably $10 of it. And I don't know, I took a, this thing had, this was an Adidas bag for, um, you know, here, Liverpool Football Club. And it looked unused. It even had, it had the original tags on it. Afterwards, I did find a little stain mark there. I want to try to clean up something, but I didn't have exact comps on this, but I saw some of these bags running you know, it's got Adidas on this side. Nice big bag. I see some of these bags with this, you'll never walk alone running 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks. So anyway, I took a rider on it, 10 bucks. Um, it's a nice bag regardless, but uh, that's what I found at that sale. Good stuff. So, all right. So then the next sale is the one up the, up the hill. And I should have took some pictures of it or video, and, but I, I didn't. But uh, it was the third day of that sales up this is the last day so it's 50 percent off and i didn't find any books and but i did i was about to go out and i found these things they caught my this america uh the beautiful state quarters collection and then there was uh, let me get these out of the way that was a volume two then there was a statehood quarters collection and it was in two volumes and another statehood. Now what these are, it's where they took, let me try to show them here. They have these cards, right? And it has the quarters on them. And then it has something on the back where you can see the obverse and it has all the states from the state and then America the Beautiful quarter series, right? Well, they wanted $40 for them originally. So they were marked down to 20. And I thought, this stuff, I don't know. I kind of looked around at it and then I got to thinking, well, these things have um, 25 plus had some, some of the territories, state, the, the U S territories, just the, the monetary, if you took the quarters out, you had like 12, 50 to $15 worth of quarters in each one of those books. So if I just took the quarters out and said, ah, screw it, I just don't want the, to deal with this. I have a, almost $40 worth of change of quarters in there. And at half price, I could get all three for, for 60. But the thing is, I see these, um, I see these state quarters all over the place. I saw, I saw one of the, the volume one and two together. It had a $500 sold. I had another one there, there are hundred, several that are selling for like 125 for the two. And I have three of them, right? So I believe that I can either put these all together or just sell the state quarters and then the America the Beautiful separate and probably get a hundred and, I'm thinking I'm gonna go for like 175 for those because the, um, 
the America the Beautiful one that I've got has the thing on the on the back that's got the San Francisco Mint, a six quarter set set, you know, on the card. So I'm thinking I paid sixty bucks for them. I can get I think I can get a hundred and seventy five. So you know, we can make eighty or hundred bucks off of them. So anyway, they'll sell. And like I said, if I if I I could get almost uh, you know forty bucks back of the sixty if I just said I don't want to sell, I just want to take the coins out and spend them. I'm not gonna do that, but you you know what I'm saying. All right, so now for the last one, the last sale. Old house go in, and you know when I when I walked into this room, you're gonna see. I thought, oh man, I have hit the mother load. I'm gonna put Scout IQ to the test. And I'm gonna get tons of stuff. Let me let me close. Let me uh, show you the video, okay? So look at this pile. I thought I had hit the mother load. I just couldn't believe this was like a digger paradise, and what awesome stuff would be in this pile. But uh, not so much. All right, <laughs> that pile. They actually had a sign there. I'm gonna <laughs> that said. We're not responsible if you fall or something falls on you, right? And I thought, man, I'm still gonna be able to find stuff in here. The reality is, is and all that, and I just, at this point, I guess I was just tired, but I went through a ton of them and it was a lot of like finance, old, fin older finance stuff, you know, and there's just a, I just went, I went through tons of them and I just wasn't pulling anything. And I did find this one book on, options plays right it's a little dirty i'll have to clean it up but it this one if i, I send this one had a pretty high e-score i'll send this one into amazon and it had like maybe like 18 to 20 dollar profit it's like a 30 dollar book um but i just got tired and i was like you know what i, I just can't I, I after going through tons of them not really pulling anything and then just the way they were stacked and pulling them out i was like you know i'm done i just can't you guys can scold me for it. Call me a slacker. I'm, you know, I'm whatever. I just had reached my limit, I guess. And, uh, not up to fighting weight doing three estate sales at once. Right. But, uh, what other things I did find, uh, actually in one of the other rooms, there were these, um, these magic books. All right. There was like, that have tricks from different magicians. And I don't know these guys. Right. But, and then there were some of these from the Steve Taylor, on doing parties, okay? But like this one's signed by uh, Bingle. I, I, I don't know magicians like this. Another one, you know, it was signed, Magical Laughs and Lessons. Uh, some more, just give you, you know, lecture notes, making educational magic programs uh, by this, again, by the Steve Taylor guy. Educational shows. And actually, I think of ventriloquism. I think I can put all these together. Um, I spent, um, I only spent $7 that they gave, what I, the stuff I'm showing you, I only spent $7 at this sale. So that one book was $1.50, all of those. And then the other things I did get is I got this um, old vintage packs of K&E graphing sheets, two, two like this. And then here's uh, the big sheets, okay? Sometimes this stuff, this is the 16, 11 by 16, two packs of it. This Caney is a great brand from the old, from 60s and 70s, slide rules and that type thing. So these things a lot of times sell for $10, $15 a pack and I've got four of them. So I got those, the lecture notes, the one book, it was like seven bucks. So anyway, that's it. Uh, three estate sales, got some kind of weird eclectic stuff. And uh, you know, when you, when you see cool, you gotta buy cool. So hope you guys are finding good stuff. And uh, again, thanks for channel support. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and we'll just keep doing it. And uh, talk to you soon, bye.